All right, so switch gears just a little bit. I have conversations with students all the time about the role that the government may or may not play with student loan forgiveness over the course of time. Like, what circumstances could that happen in? So there's a few um, situations where the, the government could um, allow those with loans to forgive some of that debt. Uh, public uh, um, nonprofit sector is one. Um, after 10 years of consecutive payments, you could theoretically not have to pay any back that debt currently. Um, although the Trump new taxation could change that uh, along with, with future Congress and new law changes in the future as well. Um, another popular one is the um, after 25 years, um, anything that's still owed would still be um, forgiven. The only issue that I would have with that, actually I had a phone call with someone that helped create some of those plans, um, is that those programs are typically built for those with massive amounts of debt and low incomes. Um, so it may not actually mathematically work in dental situations because their incomes may be too high. So it's like when they first graduate, it may actually work out, but if they continue to grow, 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 it may not make sense. Um, but one thing I would look into is to work with a qualified financial advisor, allow them to, to look into your options and, and help you out with those type, that type of situations. And um, that way you can make an educated decision what's best for you. Okay, so is that would that be considered income-based repayments? Is that what mm -hmm. students and young dentists are hearing? Yes, so that's a very popular term, income-based repayments, uh, which typically will start very, very low. And as your income goes up, the payments will go up. And that's why it's hard for a dentist to be able to be assured that this type of plan would work for the forgiveness, because as their incomes will hopefully continue to grow and increase, 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 uh, the payments would as well. So it may not work as well as we think originally. And the other big thing to keep in consideration is that if anything that is forgiven, uh, that amount would actually be deemed as taxable income upon the years forgiven. So if you have $50,000 forgiven on the back end, um, it's not $50,000 gift, it's a $50,000 uh, new tax bill. Okay, so I really wanna clarify this point because I hear this a lot, especially mm -hmm. at schools where students are graduating with four hundred dollars to $500,000 in debt. If you choose an income-based repayment because you're not making a lot of money as a young dentist, mm -hmm. and in five years you're making $400,000 a year, the payments don't magically go away. They now want a lot more they money. They want a lot more money. A lot more money. So please, please understand that it doesn't just disappear. It means that although you think you're going to live la vida loca your whole life, when you start making more money, when you start making bank, they're going to take far more than they would have otherwise taken. Now the program could still work out. Just be aware that if they do forgive anything, that would be deemed as taxable income to you on the back end. Yeah, also a good point. So like you said, it's not a free $50,000. It means it looks like you've earned that $50,000 right. and you've got to pay Uncle Sam what Uncle Sam wants. Correct. Okay.